don't worry about that. He never caught your problem. Listen. Sorry, what you water. Right, Where's the water? Listen to it was a difficult round for Tyson Fury. It started with that left hook from Derek Chisora. And you see the look on Fury's face. That was the first time he tasted Chisora's true power. Then the overhand right. And a little later on, as Fury battled with him, another overhand right. This stylistically was what Derek Chisora wanted. Even though when Fury engaged him, he landed some very good punches. Still, it was the place where Chisora wanted to take this fight. And for Derek Chisora in that round, oh, that's yes, what he yes, thought yes, would yes, happen yes, early. You won this deal. No regrets. There were times there where Tyson Fury was taken somewhere that he's never been. And Chisora trying to start on the front foot in round three. It was. Big up as a potential classic, and it's turning into one here. Both Good men left from Chisora. Both men landed big punches there, Dave. A right by Fury and a left by Chisora. Fury is now engaged in a war with Derek Chisora. Let's see how that turns out for him. Chisora with a huge right again, but he missed and again. Fury on the back foot at the moment, trying to survive, trying to keep his dreams alive here. But he looks clear-headed, Fury. And that's good to see him behind the jab if you're a Fury fan. And the interesting thing for Chisora is many would have expected maybe for him to be off to the start. With that extra weight, is the weight giving him power, which it may be here, but what will it do to him as the rounds go on? We'll have to see. But he certainly has demonstrated his power against Fury. And Fury has coped with it so far. Just barely. <laughs> yeah. But he's still there. He's still yes, there. he is. You're right. And those are good combinations by Fury. Right hook there from Fury. A real ebb and flow to this fight. Chisora, though, constantly the aggressor. And constantly trying to land with those massive swinging right hands. And Fury now turning to the left-handed style there for a moment. Good that from Fury, but Chisora walked through those, and forward he comes. What's making this fight compelling, among many things, is even though Fury this round is doing very well, you wonder whether one punch will change the round from Chisora. Chisora comes forward again, and psychologically Fury knows that Chisora can turn things with one punch. And that was the impact of what happened in that second round. Again, Chisora looks for that shot over the top. Again, Fury responds. So much was made of the hook by Chisora, but the overhand right has been effective as well, and some blood from the mouth of Derek Chisora right now. Chisora again looking for that shot, and again, Fury. Gets out of the way, nimble on his feet for such a big man. Quick hands as well, Tyson Fury. And using them to good effect at the end of this third round as Tijora finishes as the aggressor. Another terrific round here. Now listen, what are you doing? Right, you don't know. Yeah, you've got to listen to me, yeah? Work your way with a jab. Yeah, you're rolling in and he's picking up, picking you off, right? Scoring the points. Yeah, you're looking for the perfect shot. You gotta work that shot, and make it happen. Yeah. Okay. You hear me? Throw some jabs. Remember what we said. Yeah. Throw some jabs. Bang boom in the knees. Okay. And turn. Whichever way you're turning, make sure that you keep that hand high. And look to set his feet and fire over the top. Don't let him. When you see him set them feet, lean in. You know what I mean? No, it's never no, that pre empty it. You can see where he's going to do. I can see it from outside there. Listen, if you can't hit him, he's in the right hand. Come on. Come on, Doug. Don't. Come on, boy. We want this. They're both See, talking to here. Oh. Yeah. Don Charles said to Chisora, what are you doing? And he said, I don't know. At the end of that third round.
What a great corner work by Don Charles. They wanted to remind you, Zora, jab your way in. Don't throw those wild punches. That's when Fury, who is a pretty good counterpuncher, uh, is counterpunching him. Well, he was said to have never really had a crisis in a fight, Fury. Although many would argue that he had just that against John McDermott, but he certainly weathered one here. And on the biggest stage he's been on. So while he's still in very much danger against Cesaro, who's a big puncher, he at least is stable now, and he's working very well behind that jab. I think the state of mind that Fury got into before the fight prepared him maybe for a mini crisis nice and relaxed and sometimes that's the way well emmanuel stewart of course who trains vladimir klitschko and has seen fury spar with klitschko and work he thinks fury's chin is good so he thinks that he can survive the big punches uh, in these fights we're going to find out well he's already taken a couple yep maybe not full force but pretty close to it there's a big punch from chisora but Fury managed to defend himself there. And of course, the longer the fight has this pattern of Chisora swinging and only having limited success, well, the more Fury will feel that his fitness comes into play. Yeah, that's the 800-pound uh, gorilla in the room. The Good fan. left hook there from yep. Chisora. And follows it up again. Chisora, when he finds a way through, looks so dangerous here. Fury landing. just backed off for a second there, out. Yeah, Fury throwing that uppercut, Dave, and just trying to get that in as a counterpunch against Chisora, and couldn't quite do it. Chisora again comes forward, but again, Fury sees it coming and deals with it. But there is that clear and present danger from Chisora. Fury just leaning on Chisora there and then landing a right hand of his own. Massive fan club here behind him, Tyson Fury as ever. Certainly an energetic end to this round four. Ends with Chisora on the ropes, but coming off the maybe scrappiest round of the fight so far. Listen, do you hear me? Yeah? He's making the rounds. Get that book here. Right, the jab's working a little bit there. I need more jabs, yeah? Double jabs, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's earn that shot that you're looking for. You need to make it happen so it doesn't become predictable. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah? You're becoming predictable. You start to read that shot. Faint it, then throw it. Or jab, then throw it. Okay? Uh. You hear me? Yeah. Right? Come on! And when you, once you hurt him upstairs, sit down and work the body, yeah? You hear me? Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. Good. Right. You've got, go, you've got to switch, to switch the attack through the middle now and again, OK? Huh. Now, listen, he's getting tired, OK? He's well-placed. Shazar leaping in with that left hook. Now, even though it's not his best tactic, oh, he was able to land it there and then followed with an overhand right that just barely missed. So when he throws those big power punches, he's getting the attention of Tyson Fury. It is amazing the amount of times that Derek Chisora's trainer, Don Charles, says, are you listening, and things like that. He does have that reputation, not being uh, a willing listener to anyone, Shizora. But on a massive night, the biggest of his career so far, he's got to listen. Well, this fight may come down to the, it's going to be down to a couple of things, perhaps. The stamina of the two fighters and the number of punches. Derek Shizora is not throwing as many as I think they would like from him. And while he's landing some big ones, he needs to throw more. It's the quality of the shots as well from Jizora. They don't want him just walking forward and throwing. Allows Fury to pick him off with his jab. And even when Fury backs himself against the ropes now, Shizora not working on the inside as much. He's content to hold as well and languish there. The key to the fight was 
meant to be about Chisora getting inside, throwing that left hook. Little body shot there from Chisora. And we haven't seen the double left hook from Chisora at all. And that would be a terrific weapon against Fury. So many potential riches await the winner here tonight. There's talk of a Klitschko, talk of course of David Price as well. Good work there from Fury. Fury a much better combination puncher obviously of the two. Chisora is throwing single shots and he's throwing mostly those wide punches and I guarantee he'll get another tongue lashing from Don Charles when he comes back if he continues to do them. Excellent there from Fury with a combination. Really good moments for Tyson Fury but Chisora comes back albeit with head down. Better be careful about how he celebrates Tyson Fury. Could have been hit with something there. He's having a terrific round five, throwing lots of combinations and a variety of punches as well, Dave. And he's enjoying himself. He's not feeling the pressure, at least he doesn't look like it. Hurt in round two, but now he has come back to use combination punches to dominate Chisora. Big right hand. Excellent again from Fury. What a finish to the round this is. Another combination there from the giant Tyson Fury. And he's even started to try and measure there against Chisora. Another right hand from Fury. Excellent round for Fury.